Hey all, it's Mooch. Welcome to Mining and Moz, episode 10. Today we're going to talk about a question I receive a lot, namely, can 2M charging hurt my batteries? Now all this applies to just mods where we can charge via USB, but we can also take the batteries out, because you can do USB charging or external charging. If you have a mod with an internal battery, a fixed battery that you can't take out for charging, we have to hope and assume that they've matched the battery well to the charging rate. Namely, if they advertise, hey, we do 2 amp charging of our internal battery, that that battery is set up to handle that well. This is just for mods where I can take out my 18650s and charge them externally, or I can charge them uh, internally by USB. And what happens when I'm doing that? Or if I have a DNA device that's using a LiPo pack I can put in or, or take out, or some other device that's not a fixed kind of setup from the manufacturer, but something you set up and you're just concerned about that LiPo battery being charged at 2 amps. Maybe it's a uh, 1200 mAh battery and you're worried about charging it at 2 amps when it says you should charge at 1C, which would be 1.2 amps. An important background note for this is batteries usually have two specifications for charging. One is a standard charge rate, which is, ensures long battery life, lots of cycles of charging and discharging. And the other one is the fast or rapid charging rate. This one gets you charged a lot faster, but it's a lot more abusive to the battery. It's not gonna make it blow up, but it is abusive. And it, it's actually the charge rate that's used most often by our phones and our tablets, where the manufacturers figure we will trade off battery life. And so we don't need a battery to last five years. We just want fast charging, but it does age the battery more. So that distinction is important uh, in what we select maybe in a charging rate. And let's take a look at USB charging first. Um, what's important to realize is USB charging is typically at 5 volts, and if it's quote 2 amp charging, 2 amps, that's 10 watts. The battery can't be charged at any higher power level than what's coming in via the USB cable. So we'll have 10 watts, 5 volts to 2 amps, voltage times current equals power, 10 watts going into the mod, that's the charging power. We're going to take one watt off for about 10% inefficiency, going through the charge of circuitry, voltage drops along the cables, etc. And we'll get about 9 watts going into our mods for charging at 2 amps via the 5 volt USB. Now, for different groups of batteries or different batteries in the mod, the amount of current going to the batteries changes. If we've got a 3 battery mod, 9 watts at 12.6 volts is only 0.71 amps going into each battery. That's it. So this 2 amp charging is nowhere near 2 amps going into the batteries. If we go down to 3.0 volts, namely you're charging totally empty batteries, it's 1 amp flowing into each battery. So for three battery mods, just about any battery we would ever want to use, this 2 amp charging is a nice moderate 1 amp, 0.71 to 1 amp charge. Now, if we've got a two-battery mod, or power series, where it's two in parallel, two in parallel, and those go into series, again, we're now at 8.4 volts, 6 volts, namely, you know, 3.0 volts to 4.2 volt battery range. So we're running from 6 volts to 8.4 volts for two batteries. That's only 1.07 amps to 1.5 amps maximum. And that may be limited, because a lot of them will only have one amp charging internal once you get into the um, device itself, but soon worst case. Now that gets to be a little bit higher, but most 20 amp batteries, 18650s that we use, have a 1.6 amp or so standard charging rate, namely for long cycle life. So this still really isn't any kind of problem. And this 1.5 amps is only gonna be when the battery is empty. Once it's almost full, up towards 4.2 volts, 8.4 for two of them in series, and we're down to one amp. So for that even, we really don't have to worry about 2 amp USB charging. Now, if we have a single battery device that advertises 2 amp charging, now it's a little bit of a concern. 4.2 volts, we've got a little over 2 amps going to the battery, unless it's limited inside the mod, and a fully discharged battery, we're down at 3 amps. Now, I'm pretty sure most of these devices do not output 3 amps to the battery, but I haven't seen how it's limited or what actually makes it to the battery in these mods, but I suspect it's not going to be anything over 2 amps. So once you're up to one battery mod with 2 amp USB charging, it's possible there 
Oops. So once you're down to a one battery mod, it's possible that you could be running that battery very hard. You put in a, a basic 20 amp battery, you're charging it at two amps every time you go in. That shortens the battery life a little bit. It's not gonna just blow up on you because of that. But if you feel it running a little bit warm, uh, yeah, that's gonna be aging the battery a bit. Now, if we go to the other scenario for two amp charging, let's use an external charger. You've got a separate one bay to eight bay, EFAS, Nikkor, uh, whatever charger you might have, it's really using the same thing as your single battery set up here because each slot in your charger, external charger, is a, a one channel charger just like this is. So you've got to have the same kind of limitations here. Namely, we don't want to charge at two amps here because the full two amps goes to the battery unless you want fast charging. And this is where we get back to the ratings again. Now I have a table, I'll put the link in the description, of the charging rates listed by the manufacturers of a lot of batteries, Samsung, Sony, LG, Panasonic, Sanyo. You don't see charge rates listed uh, by almost any of the uh, battery rewrapping companies. But I give the standard charge rate and the rapid charge rate. You use the standard charge rate or lower for good cycle life, lots of charge and discharge cycles, if you're not otherwise abusing the battery, of course. You can use a rapid charge rate for occasional charging or just because you don't want to wait. But if you don't want to look it up or if your battery is not on there, use half an amp, 0.5 amps, for 10 amp rated or lower. If you have a 5 amp battery or 10 amp rated battery, the ultra high capacity batteries, try it at half an amp. Don't let it get hot. If it's hot, drop to a quarter amp. If it's running nice and cool, maybe try one amp. For the 15 amp rated batteries and higher, 20 amp, 25 amp, 30, 35 amp, try one amp. If it runs nice and cool, yeah, maybe go a little bit higher. And that's gonna be five beeps because one of the tests is still running. Um, check the table is what you can go, but for these two numbers, if you're not sure, you can use those as good compromises for how you wanna charge. So, bottom line, can two amp charging hurt our batteries? Yes, if we do it a lot, if, particularly if it's an ultra high capacity battery, like a 3500 mAh battery, that is going to hurt. But if they're not getting hot, or if they're not getting more than just a little bit warm, it's really not a problem and really not a concern at all, unless you're down to a single battery, either a one battery mod or you use an external charger. Whatever method you do use for charging, make sure you're using a really good quality charging block. Don't get some cheap half amp, one amp piece of junk you know, for $3. It's this, this is where the accidents happen. This is where mods burn up because there's some cheap junk charger, or at least that's what I think some of them it happens with. Some of them it's the mods problem. Other times it's the charger block. Use a decent one. I mean, I use the one for my tablet because it's a good two point something amp block and it delivers a great charge. It doesn't get hot. And the mod itself will only draw the current that it needs unless you have a very inexpensive a pen type mod that only that will draw whatever you feed it any other mod will use a chip inside to limit the current convert it to what voltage it needs for charging and handle all the charging for you so don't scrimp on that use a decent charge one use a decent charge rate to not abuse the batteries unless you're in a big rush and you shouldn't have any problems with harming your batteries that's it for today thank you for watching